I'd like to introduce a new tool, the Blovey Text Analysis Wizard. We built this tool to help users and developers understand how Blovey analyzers operate on their text. Let's take a look at how it works. First, I'm going to select the keyword analyzer, the simplest one we have, and I'm going to input the text, Blovey is great at searching text. And when we analyze that text, we get what we expect, a single token containing the entire string. Now, if we go ahead and change the analyzer to the simple analyzer, we now see that that same text is analyzed as six separate tokens. But looking at it, there's still some stop words in the list, and there's still some words that haven't been stemmed. So it's a very basic analysis. Now, if we switch from simple over to standard, we now see uh, a little bit more analysis has gone on. We've gone from six tokens down to four. We see that the, the words is and at have been removed, but we still see that the word searching hasn't had any analysis done. To get stemming on the words, uh, we're going to switch to the English analyzer, which is in the list as en. Now we see that, again, it's the same four tokens, but now searching has been stemmed down to the word search, and that's going to increase recall in a variety of searches. So that's a quick overview of how taking the same text, we can apply different text analyzers and see the different behavior uh, that we're going to get from the system. Now, that's just the tip of the iceberg. Uh, where it gets more powerful is if we go ahead and select from the drop-down, build your own from the analyzer list. This allows us to interactively build a new analyzer, one that's not already defined, and see how that operates on text. Now, there's been a lot of discussion on the mailing list recently about indexing Chinese, Japanese, and Korean text. Uh, and this is something that Blovey does not have a built-in analyzer for right now. So I thought it'd be fun to play around uh, and see if we can configure the system to do a decent job with the text. So first I'm going to give the analyzer a name. I'm going to call it CJK. We're not going to use any character filters, so we'll just ignore that section for now. The tokenizer I'm going to leave as white space. The white space tokenizer already has the nice property that for Chinese, Japanese, and Korean characters, it's going to return each character as an individual token. Then we're going to further process that with a token, token filter. Right now we don't have any in the list. Uh, so let's go ahead and add one. And the one we want to add is, not again, not a pre-configured token filter, so we're going to go to the end of the list and select Build Your Own. Now, what we, the token filter we want is one that we call a bigram filter. It's going to take, in this case, two individual characters, which are already split into separate tokens, uh, and we're going to use a filter called the shingle filter. If I select that out of the list, the shingle filter, its job is to take discrete tokens and combine them into different, in this case, pairs, uh, and return those as new tokens. Uh, so this is a bigram filter. I'm going to go ahead and give it that name, bigram. And because of that, we, we're expecting a minimum and a maximum of two tokens assembled into each uh, new token that's formed. Now, we don't need to use any of the additional options here. Let me change that value back to two. And I'm going to go ahead and press build. Now we see the new uh, filter we just defined, bigram, is in the list of options here. But it still not, hasn't been added yet to the list of token filters. So we have to press the add button to put it in that list. And again, there's some more advanced features. You can add multiple items. You can reorder the items within your token filter list because order does matter here. Uh, but in this case, we're just going to go with a single token filter. Uh, and that's all we need. So let's go ahead and press build. And now we see there's a new filter, uh, or sorry, a new analyzer in the list here, CJK. That's the one we just built. And the text we want to use is not this English text, so let's change that. I have some uh, Japanese string here. Uh, I'm going to paste that in. This is the, word, the, the phrase, hello world. Uh, I've taken it from the go tour example. And I'm going to go ahead and press the analyze button and see what we get. Uh, and this is what we wanted. Uh, this is the input text that we, we, we entered here. And each of those characters has been split up and then paired together. So these are what are called bigrams. And this is a very common approach used uh, for indexing this kind of text. Uh, having another tab here, uh, the output, this is taking that same text and handing it over to Elasticsearch for analysis with their CJK analyzer. And what we see is we get very similar output. Uh, we get six tokens, again, each of the characters uh, in pairs of two. So this is not a final product uh, CJK analyzer, but again, it shows how you can use this new tool to experiment and play around uh, with text analysis. In the coming days and weeks, uh, hopefully we'll uh, be able to formalize this and have a proper CJK analyzer as a part of Blevy. One final thing, uh, the, the analysis wizard is entirely stateless. Uh, so all of the features we've built, they're still present on this system uh, you know, in the browser, right? but there's nothing saved on the server. 
Uh, but there is a button here you can press export custom mapping and what this allows you to do it has uh, go and json formatted versions of the definitions of these analyzers so what you can do is you can actually copy and paste uh, this go source paste that into your application uh, and get up and running with the analyzer you just built using the wizard uh, we're excited about this we hope i uh, can't wait to see what uh, people put together with this so uh, enjoy <laughs>